If you've got a vehicle with either a factory head unit or even an aftermarket head unit with Apple CarPlay and this is your life, having to connect this every time you get in and out of your vehicle just to be able to use Spotify or Google Maps or whatever app that it is that you want to be able to listen to music, get to somewhere, this is annoying, which is why I'm upgrading to this. This is the AI box light, which has been sent to me by One Box Stereo. This isn't necessarily a review or an unboxing. This is more of a just an install and first impressions of how this unit works. What essentially this does is it converts your standard wired Apple CarPlay or Android CarPlay into a wireless CarPlay. So you don't have to connect your phone through a wire to the head unit in order to be able to use the apps, which is brilliant. I can just get in the van and drive. So whilst I'm installing this to a VW Crafter, our camper van, this will also apply for any vehicle with a modern head unit that uses CarPlay or Android Play. So whilst the guys at One Car Stereo have kindly sent this device to allow us to wirelessly connect to our head unit, the views on the install are purely my own, not being paid to, to actually produce this video or do anything like that. And I wouldn't be producing this video if I didn't think that this would be a useful device for someone who wanted to convert their standard head unit or factory aftermarket head unit to a wireless device. This is just something I've actually genuinely been looking for for some time because this cable has just been really annoying. We had a shorter one as well and someone else is trying to then access the maps as you're traveling or you're on a road trip. <laughs> it just makes it a real nightmare and the kids are always grabbing the cables or chewing on the end or it doesn't quite connect properly to your device. Now obviously the only the only negative is that you're not going to be charging your mobile phone whilst you're driving but that's a pretty minimal disadvantage. I mean you could still connect your phone to a cable to charge it. Usually my phone would last most of the day anyway and then charge it overnight whilst we're on site somewhere. First job to do is remove this, get rid of it. So the second thing is with this box, you get three cables. You get a standard USB to USB-C. You get a USB-C to USB-C, which is what we're gonna use because our craft, it's got the business pack, so it comes with two USB ports down here in the cubby hole. Then you also get this USB piggyback kind of cable, which I'm not entirely sure what this is for. I don't need it. And looking at the diagram on here, you can connect this into like a cigarette lighter with a USB on it. I'm guessing maybe to, if you had uh, this, this box connected to one side and then you wanted like some sort of media storage or like a USB drive plugged into US 12 volt USB slot. Or maybe if you've only got one USB slot available, maybe this helps double up. So then you've got a spare USB slot still available. So I'm not still not sure why you'd want to do that if you, because you're going to need a powered 12 volt cigarette adapter dongle thing to go into the 12 volt socket. Anyway, I don't need that. So that will go with the way. So this should be really simple. You're not going to need any tools to do this install. Basically take my cable, I'm going to plug one end into the USB-C port that end. There is a USB on the other side, be see there and then there's three led dots on the front of the case so it's some sort of cooling vents underneath and this will basically just be plugged in permanently and then i can just leave it in the little shelf down there be days so hopefully you can see this all right but essentially i've got two usb ports just down here this is going to plug in and then i can simply drop my box down there and that is that is the install done like there is no more hardware nothing else i need to do other than set it up i'm gonna need to put my keys in the ignition to get your key so it's already automatically trying to connect to the device cool so it's already come up with the screen. Uh, warning, do you do not put this operate the system? Well, yeah, cool, fine. Next thing I'm gonna to want to do is connect my phone to the device. So to do that, you need to go into Bluetooth. I'm in my Bluetooth settings on my phone and the one you want is it's BT and then whatever the code is. And so you tap that and then it will connect to the Bluetooth. 
to the AI box. So a little Bluetooth symbol has just come up on the dash right there. I'm not sure if you can just see that, but that means that my phone is now connected to the Bluetooth. So if you, it comes up with this little, little symbol up here, which you can press and that'll take you back home. Let's see what happens. All right, so we're back, we're back to the main dash. Let's go back into CarPlay. I've also got on my phone, just a little notification to say, finish setting up CarPlay. So it's now asking if I want to use CarPlay with AI Box. So I'm gonna click yes. I think that's now done. And we should be able to just use our CarPlay device. Oh. And there we go. So we've gone straight into maps. We can also use Spotify. It seems to be pretty quick. That would that's just as quick as it would do normally as if my phone was connected to um, the device. If I click phone. So please do connect Apple CarPlay. Okay, cool. If I go app, it takes me straight back to the app. So all of these functions work as they did when my phone was wired directly in. Still got access to all of my normal apps messages, Google Maps, my parking, Audible, WhatsApp, it's all here just as it was. It doesn't seem to be any difference other than this symbol, which then takes me back to the home screen for the AI box. Now you will notice this icon here, Netflix. And that is, I don't know actually how useful this is, but it looks like you can play and watch Netflix content through this app using your mobile phone as a streaming device. I think the only extra step I have to do is connect it like a local hotspot via Wi-Fi, but effectively uses the network signal from your phone and then Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to then stream content to the device. You can also stream through YouTube. So I go to apps, there is a YouTube icon as well, but there's also some other apps. In fact, there's Netflix again. I'm going to presume that I'm going to have to sign in to my Netflix account in order to be able to watch Netflix. Now, yeah, exactly that. So it's asking for my account details, which I'm I'm not going to do whilst filming. Okay, yeah, that's fine because I said don't. Right, let's go back home. Let's go into YouTube. So I'm guessing YouTube's going to be similar, you know, that it's going to want me to connect to my account. Yeah, so there's a little icon up here to sign in, which again, I'm not going to do right now, but I can, oh, I, there's, there's no connection. So I'm going to have to connect to Wi-Fi. Oh, there's some other settings here. Oh, what was that? Do on that. Personal settings. Video is prohibited while driving. Yes. Okay. So you can actually turn that off. Obviously, I would advise you don't watch video content whilst driving. It's kind of illegal. In order to, to watch video content, you're going to need to effectively set your phone up as a hotspot. So you go into your phone settings. I'm not sure what this is for Android, but I imagine it'll be similar. You'd go to a personal hotspot and you want to turn that on. I'm not going to show you because it's got a password on there, but you turn your password on and then you want to leave maximize hit compatibility off for the moment, but you do want to make sure that you've, you've ticked the, the little toggle for allow others to join. Once you've turned on your mobile hotspot, you want to go back to the main screen of the AI box. And there's a little symbol just up here, which is like a Wi-Fi crossed out. You want to click that. And then it says up here, use Wi-Fi. Zoom in a bit more. It says use Wi-Fi and you can tick this to one. So now it's going to search for Wi-Fi networks. And hopefully it should pick up my phone. There it does. So I'm going to click to that, enter your password, and then it will use your phone's hotspot as Wi-Fi to then allow you to then stream video content and connect, effectively connect to the internet. So I've just entered my password and you now see that it's connected to my iPhone. So that is all good. Which means I can come out of that, go back to apps, go back to YouTube. And now it's saying online and it should open up YouTube video. Obviously my kids have been watching YouTube, so that's the last thing that it's going to play. Let's stop that. Thank you very much, kids. But yeah, you can actually search YouTube. Oh, there we go. It's a bit slow. Uh, loading uh, content that is being effectively streamed. 
but it's getting there. And uh, one of the best modifications there we go. to your camper van there is installing an awning. So you can watch a bit of YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the in your vehicle. combi rail and the two. So with the engine off, obviously the device shuts down. All the all the lights are off on the device, so it's not doing anything, which is good because one of the, my concerns was that it would still be. Um, absorbing or using power so it's not another thing you could do if you're like us we actually have wi-fi in the van using a separate mobile router i could connect this to that wi-fi that means that any data usage is like google maps or spotify or watching video content i could actually use that wi-fi signal even though i'm using gps or via bluetooth on this in theory. I haven't actually tried that out, but it might be worth doing at some point. So there you have it. That is how to convert your VW Crafter standard wired CarPlay head unit into a wireless CarPlay and it will work. And just to confirm, it will work with any vehicle if you've got a USB or USB connection somewhere that you can then connect into your, your head unit. I've put a link in the description box below to where you can purchase the AI box. Any comments, drop them below and I will do my best to answer them. Please like, please subscribe, please click the little bell so you get a notification when I upload new videos. Peace out. Boo.